Well, hello and welcome to Material Mondays. So, in today's session, we're going to be looking at an additional um, supply that you can use. I went out and I brought these screen printing inks. I brought two two colours. They they sell them in a variety of different colours, um, but I got sky blue and scarlet individually on their own. Oops, <laughs> they look nice, but together um, you can always blend it. Okay, so here's one of the things that I found with this one. Now I have had, admittedly these inks for quite a while. I've got a mini screen printing kit and I don't nearly do as much as I thought I would do. So I just use it as a means of um, creating pattern and colour on surfaces. So this is actually uh, cami leather. <coughs> it's like the off bits that they, um, from the cowhide, <coughs> that um, are left over I think, and then they, they're just thin bits and they join them together and people usually use them for cars, usually have it like a 9x9 nine nine, um, square, and um, all I've done is separated them out, and these usually form um, the basis for some of the pieces of fabric that I may say use, um, not necessarily this one, but I will take smaller bits of fabric and piece together and then stitch, stitch, um, like you will see this, this one. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. So, I've been experimenting so far, I've been using some um, stencils, so these ones are recycled stencils and what I plan to do is do some layering on the surface of the cami leather. So, so far I've got some nice little prints going on and I've got a stencil that I made here that I was um, inking up. And um, yeah, so what's happened with this one? It's kind of separated, but it's still good. It's uh, water soluble, it's water-based ink. So just add water and um, if yours does separate like this, you know, don't think, oh, you can still use it. Um, and all I did was I take a little bit out, add a bit more water and then blend it like this. And you get it fairly relatively smooth again it's never going to be as it was prior to getting like that and I'll show you the other one my other one still got a lid inside and I think that's probably what saved it so this is all nice and oh, rich and um, not separated at all okay so I won't be doing any screen printing with it, but as I say, one of the things I found useful was to take, you know, small, um, small pieces, normally I would have done it with a large piece, um, but just take this, whatever you've got, take small pieces, and I'm just using handmade, um, stamps just to create patterns so that's one of the things that you can do so we're just gonna create some patterns on what's left and then we're gonna layer it with the red and add some additional stencils
Right, so I've done layered the blue, so we're going to go in and do some layering with the red. Now, um, this can be used on fabric or paper. So I've got a mini journal here. I'm just going to add the excess. like that. There we go. And now let's use some of the red. So I'm going to actually Okay, so I'm going to get um, some of the earlier pieces that I did, <coughs> and um, use a different stencil on there so that you can see the contrast. Just select them at random, don't worry about does this look right. They're very small pieces of fabric and you know just you can have some really uh, surprising little um, things happen that you can then go on and do on a bigger surface. Okay so we've got this flower one. Oops, got a bit too much on there. And then I can even come in with a third bit of the stencil. So this was, um, I had stenciled, use a stencil that way. So I'm going to use the reverse side and just take off whatever's on there and just apply it there. And you get a nice kind of um, patterning. It's a bit messy, but see, so experiment, and you can. Um, should we come in? a bit closer so that you can actually see okay there we go so you use using um, it's the one stencil but in different ways and you get two different effects okay so let us continue to work on these pieces and this is one of my favourite um, stencils, so I do use it a lot in my work, either art journaling or um, working with fabrics. And I really like this stage because, you know, um, they then go on to be some really amazing pieces when you start actually working with um, other elements and other fabrics, you get a really nice effect when you start to get
Okay, got one more to do. They're drying fairly quickly and it will dry uh, because it's, um, it's quite thick ink. It's going to dry um, and give it a bit more texture. So I'm just rubbing here. It's another thing you can do, just rubbing up the paint there. And I'm getting this same stencil. So <clears throat> it's great to work with larger pieces of fabric where you can just do the whole piece and um, get some really nice shapes and patterns going and just spend your time just you know working through um, working through your stencils adding different stencils layering them and as I say these would form parts of um, larger pieces as they are I've got some small five by seven pieces of fabric that are waiting for a stage of adding additional pieces to it so I might take this I might cut it up and then do some stitching on there or add something to it and um, stitch around it I might go in with a third color and um, you know like I would like maybe yellow on here <clears throat> so you can just experiment especially with the supplies that you have and see what you can create on your fabric and um, experiment with with the different supplies so that you can get different looks and then when you stitch them together you know like a, a white stitching on here maybe just you know um, would look really effective what else would I do uh, I think that would be I don't want to do no screen printing